Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is get horizontal distance to. Let's run through a quick little example, and I'm gonna go ahead and fire off my button. And when I fire the button, we're gonna get the distance to using the distance to node. But we're also gonna get the horizontal distance to, and we're actually gonna find they are different numbers. Using the horizontal distance to, it will basically give you the distance between two actors just on the horizontal plane, regardless of if there's any vertical to it at all. So let me go ahead and show you this. This is our get horizontal distance to node. If we type in get horizontal, we're not going to find it. It is context sensitive. It is underneath the utilities transformation, and it's going to require an actor as both the target and the other actor. When we feed in two actors, it's basically going to go from the origin point of the actor. So let me go ahead and point that out. This right here is the origin point, basically roughly in the middle of this wall, about halfway up. When I have my player and we run it, my player's origin point is going to be roughly in the middle of its capsule. That's the root point. So it's something to keep in mind. The root of the actor is where we're going to, not necessarily in a straight line. That's what the horizontal node is for. When we hook it up, our output's going to be a float, and it's going to be an Unreal Units, the distance. So let me go ahead and take my line trace here, and let me increase its duration to something like 20. And then let me find my player, and let me increase its duration to 20. Let's go ahead and trace a different color here. Let's go with something where well, we got green and maybe a pink. Let's see if that works. And let's play. We're going to go ahead and not move and hit get distance. And I'm going to look at my two lines. Here's my starting point here. Here's my vertical, my horizontal line, which goes straight and hits here. And then here's my actual trace from this point to this point, which again was inside the wall. So the distance from my starting actor to the inside of the wall is going to be 455. However, when we fire it off, let's fire it off again. So it's 470, including the vertical. The horizontal distance, so just from here up to the where the actor's at, ignoring any verticalness, is only 465. And of course, if I was to make this, for example, taller, let's say, for example, let's stop this. Let's move this up a little bit and see if that works. There we go. You notice it's a much bigger difference because we have a much bigger difference for the vertical hit. So if you need to know where something falls on the horizontal plane, which is going to be your X plane basically right here, your X and your Y plane. Let's, let's move this back down. Let's look at our transform gizmo. So your X and your Y plane, your horizontal plane, not your Z, which is your vertical. So if you want to know the distance between an actor and an actor just on that straight path, you can use the get horizontal distance to node. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Target for where it's starting, a target for where it's ending, the output returns a float. Remember, it's going to target the actor itself, so it's going to be targeting the origin or the root, the main item inside of main parent, the base of your blueprint actor.